Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Um, I'm going to make a chili video for a second. It's going to be a Daily Bits chili video, which I've only done a couple times, but I saw this on his community page, and I figured I'd just chime in. So, basically, what's going on here, if you read it, it says, Frank, a lot of create. What do you got to do in chili voice? Thanks. Frank and a lot of creators want more people to comment, like, dislike anything. I'm not like other creators. Don't come around here cop sacking to me. I'll block you from my page. I don't care if you're here or not. Basically, what, basically what's going on here is if somebody else has a different opinion using their First Amendment rights to do so in protest or going against his narrative, basically he's going to block you because that's 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 exactly what woke, basic beta bitches do. That's exactly what they do. Uh, if if you are not with them, you are against them. So therefore, they try to stifle your free of speech. But you know that's a weird thing about these First Amendment auditors. They keep on saying how they love the First Amendment, but sue or try to silence you as soon as you try to go against their ideas, which is pretty much stupid. The First Amendment gives me the right to call Chile de Castro of delete laws a fucking beta bitch, and that's what I can say, and I can also say that he's a public nuisance, in my opinion, and he's also a butt boy, big old butt boy, big butt boy, but <laughs> I don't want to get too harsh in this, but this did rub me the wrong way, like, you don't see me getting on here, if you call me fat or a piece of shit or something like that, you don't see me on here blocking you, the only way I'm going to block you is if you do something super stupid, super insane, and you know what I'm talking about, I've had to block one person, I actually, two people, but I gave the other person their rights to talk again. Now it's Laura de Laguna. And you know what? I, you know, I shouldn't have blocked her, honestly. But the other guy, he, he had it coming. But if you have a different idea than me, if you, if you like, you know, the First Amendment auditing scene, I'm not going to block you because of that. Uh, again, that's just what betas do. They just cause problems, and whenever you start calling them out, they cry to the police or cry for daddy government to come and save the day with lawsuits, which they are using taxpayers' money to do these frivolous acts just to, I don't know, boost their fucking ego, which it doesn't make sense at all. Not at all. Not at all. If you're if you're fighting for freedoms, it, it, that's what you're saying, the First Amendment freedom, why would you sue somebody for having a different opinion than you? That's a good question. It's a good question. It's in that uh, the very definition of a giant pussy, uh, using the law to stifle your own, I guess, law bred right, as just as simple as freedom of speech. Is this not America? But well, I guess it is America because we get to sue each other just because we cry a lot on the internet and we just we just can't handle it. Now, Chile's pretty much washed up. Okay. That's why a lot of people doesn't co cover him anymore. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm doing a disservice by just covering him now. But a lot of people know the shtick. Everybody's done with it. Um, and you know, when he puts shit up like this, it's just, it's just stupid. It's just him trying to dry up the clicks. Now, I may be playing into his trap by making a video on him just to get more attention. My channel's not that big. He has no problems. I mean. Just with the hundreds and thousands of viewers that he's buying and sell, he's actually buying subscribers, actually buying viewers, and he will not. He will not show you this. He will not show you that this is happening. This is actually happening, in my opinion. But he is doing this. He's doing this. There's not enough interactions in his videos to really garner any type of fan base, and the fan base he does have is pretty much the lowest common denominator of people. You know what I'm talking about, the meth head that can't get out of uh, uh, jail, like going to jail every two weeks or beating his wife or, you know, do you wise because Chile wants to protect uh, these citizens with their God-given rights of driving drunk, uh, getting high and killing people and all this stuff. But no, nah, so the, the, the police are bad. The police are bad people. When Chile is probably the worst of them all, which eventually he will go to jail. Um, this is already happening. We've already seen this. I think KFAR uh, posted a something that was a while back. These people were filing these frivolous lawsuits against public officials, and basically, what happened? These people got charged 
and they're in jail for up to 25 years for being a piece of shit. And you know what? That's going to happen to Chile. Chile, see, Chile won't do this out of the United States. He'll do it here because he can get away with it for a little bit. But as soon as he retreats to another country, let's say when he went to, where, where did he go, Mexico or Cuba or whatever, uh, you didn't see him do any auditings on the streets there. No, because he got his fucking teeth knocked in. That's basically it. And, you know, we can, Chile can do the whole, hey, I'm a, I'm a tough guy. I'm a wrestler. I, I wrestle. I put thumbs up people's asses. That's what I do. I'm a, I'm an alpha male. Dude, come on. Even your Mark Twain loving bastard here in Ironton, you know, the one, the one you hung out with for the whole time that was always up your ass. The one that called me a rude, crude, fat bastard or whatever piece of shit. That guy, the Mark Twain looking guy, was it Freeman? Ken Freeman? That's right. Fuck that guy too. Go fuck yourself, Ken Freeman. You know what? Go fuck yourself. I'm using that in protest, by the way. It's protest, protest. Fuck you, Ken Freeman. Okay? Okay? Okay, good, good. Good. Just just we know it. Just so you can understand it. I know you're a bit retarded, but that's okay. Both of you guys are pretty damn retarded. Uh Chili just went full retard. Uh, he didn't go halfway. He went full retard. Uh, so, you know. But I wanted to make this video. It's kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Saw it. It's like, you know what? Let's make a quick video. Of it. And we can spot out his hypocrisy here. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting when, when any of these auditors get pissed off when he starts turning the page on them. And, you know, they start losing views. And nobody's paying attention to them. And like I said, this me making this video is not helping that at all. At all. It's not really helping that. But it is pretty funny that some person that claims to be a First Amendment law scholar, uh, constitutional law scholar, and an alpha male blocks you from the page because he's too big of a pussy to uh, have an actual conversation with somebody without trying to daddy government to save him. All right. Usually, like I said, usually too, when the First Amendment auditors, the first thing they do once they're in trouble, who do they holler at? They holler for the police. They'll be like, oh, they're going to be the first ones to call the cops whenever they get their feelings hurt. But that's, that's just the truth. Guys, I love you very much. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.